I, uh, I got started on my morning, my weekend bacon, and uh, I just wanted to show my, look how they cheesed us. So this is what the package looks like. And when you pull the bacon out, it's like 90% fat. So they cut it so that the, the meat side, or the, you know, the flesh side would show out. And it's all fat. Cheese, cheese tactic. For a hangover protein. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Ken lately, so you guys should go check him out. He's, his videos are really fun. His, his food reviews are very informative. I like that he adds the prices of items. Very, very cool. Um, go check him out, guys. And I have a... Yeah, I have a refrigerator that's showing up right now. My refrigerator broke. I fixed it, but apparently my fix was not good enough to keep her going, and she has... Stopped cooling. So I think that's. I think that might be her. Oh no. No, it's just the guy's closing the door. I want to say farewell to this fridge. This fridge has been with us for almost as long as Leah and I have been together. I think over 10 years this fridge has been in our lives. Goodbye, fridge. Also nice. No, that's a refrigerator, buddy. Are we getting a new refrigerator today? Uh, right there. Yeah. All right. If there's a new one? Yeah. New refrigerator today? Do you want a picture? I'll take your picture. No, I'll take your picture. Your picture. You're in the picture. You're in the picture. You're in it. You're already in it. I want to take your picture. You want to hold the camera? Yeah. Okay, hold it like that. And put your hand like that, okay? Yeah. Now you got it? I'm letting go. And you gotta leave your thumb right here. Hold it. Hold it up. Hold it up. Lift it up. There you go. You're taking a picture. What? You're recording. I'm gonna take a picture of the, the wound. Okay, I need to attach water line right there. Yeah, here we come. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, here we come. Mm -hmm. Here we come. Now, what am I doing? You're yeah. doing a good job. Okay, good work. Oh, there you go. The water lines aren't hooked up yet. I'll take care of that, but there you go. There's the inside. Okay, help daddy. I need you to grab things from the box and bring it over here. Oh. Okay, so major project for today is I'm gonna run the water line for the new refrigerator so that we can tap into the the water dispenser that's right there and get some ice. We never did that with the other uh, the other refrigerator. I screwed up pretty bad. Uh, I pulled into Starbucks to get a flat white and I was gonna give get Ben something. And normally I get him hot chocolate, but it's way too hot for hot chocolate, so I'm like, ah, I'll just get him a Frappuccino. I didn't realize there's coffee in Frappuccino. I mean, there's Chino in the name. You'd think that I would know that. Like I was gonna get him a little mini Frappuccino, but now I'm like, well, what do I do? I think I'm gonna dump half of it out and then give him the other half and then that'll just be a little bit of caffeine? Let's not tell Leia this happened. Let's keep that between you and me, okay? All right. Is that your special drink? You like it? We're not gonna tell mommy, okay? <laughs> uh oh, they got new tools, new Milwaukee Fastback Utility Knife with a little flipper body. Okay, here's the uh, Fastback, the new Fastback next to my Spyderco Delica. 
And as always, it's got that quick open. Let me change my hand here. Smaller handle. It'll flip open, flip closed. Locks in place. Nice. I can leave this in my car now because it's small. I always have a utility knife on hand. That's uh, usually a good thing. You know what they say, one good trip to the home desk spot deserves another. Um, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Go back to the home desk spot. Yeah, and in part the reason is because uh, I, I didn't get the proper feed. So I already have a water filtration system uh, hooked up to hooked up to the sink. And um, I don't want to tap off of that necessarily. I'd like to leave it in place because um, it, it works fine for filling the water pot and the hot water pot and other things. So I've got to figure out a way to keep both off of the cold line and I I'm unsure how to do that. Oh, that's not a car, that's a truck. Well, thanks for correcting me. I feel better now, knowing that you know that that's a truck. Okay, round two. I think I know how to do this in a slick way. Let's see if I can find the part. Are you happy now that you got a bolt? Yeah. As long as you have a bolt, you're happy, right? Yeah. All right. I apologize for not recording in Home Depot. Ben decided, well I decided, that uh, I would just walk with Ben instead of putting him in a cart. That was a bad idea. He was all over the place and just trying to wrangle him while also thinking in my head the connectors I needed. No bueno. So now I've got stuff pulled out. I believe I have the right fasteners. I've got to get down in there and uh, tap that line for the filter. That's going to be the way I'm going to do it. That's going to be the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so water's off. Let me clear the line. Line is cleared. So this goes up to the filtered end, so I'm just going to cut it. That is... Mm. Is that the same? It's quarter inch. So I've got one of these T connectors. I'm going to attempt to T it off here. It's a forever bond. Okay, so now I've got a teed off line. This is super jankopotamus, I'll just tell you that guys right up front. I'm gonna use this barrel connector here. So now I've got a barrel connector from a quarter inch quarter inch and this will accept a 3 8 inch which is what I want to get up to so unfortunately it's still gonna kind of run slow but hopefully the length of 3 8 will allow me to not have so much turbulence and now I have to go back again because this tubing I bought that had only a barcode that I ended up cutting off is 5 16 not 3 8 which is what I need because the bins that I pulled it out of were 3 8 That's when I pulled out. I said, this is 3 8 Yes, I'm very happy now. Is that clear? What are we doing? Yeah? So I freely admit that um, all of this going back and forth from the store is, is all my fault. Um, Ben is is kind of a handful, and but there's no excuse for, for any of that. I can't blame anything on him. Um, at the same time, I, fittings is kind of a pain in the ass, particularly when you have to go from multiple different sizes. So if the if the refrigerator is five sixteenths and the water line is a quarter inch, and you got to go to three eighths because that's a nice little transition from from a quarter inch to three eighths to to five sixteenths, you can see where it starts getting a little heady. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this done.
<laughs> okay, so I think I think I have everything. I think I have. Let's find out. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Daddy. Yeah. Please. What's that? I love my friends, and I like friends. You love your friends? Yeah. Well, that's good. Who are your friends? Tiger four and mommy and, uh, mommy? Yeah. and gong gong yeah, and papa yeah. and yay. Yeah. So here's the white man introduction to familial names from a white man. Tiger four means oldest uncle. Yi means aunt. Papa means grandma and gong gong means grandfather or grandpa. And I am butchering the pronunciation of all those words. Thank you very much. To an elbow, covered up here. So all I need now, all the only thing I need is a converter from three eighths to this coupler. This thing is killing me. What you do? This coupler is killing me. If I had to cut this thing to five sixteenths, I'm fine with that. This is five sixteenths, not three eighths. That's all I need. Okay, I think, I think, I think I have nailed it. I think. Yes, I was not successful today. And it all came down to this stupid adapter, this coupler, whatever. I cut it off, I'm done with it. This is a, looks like a 5 16 line into my 3 8 inch adapter. I'm gonna find a PET adapter for 5 16 to 3 8 and just couple it. I, I, I tried this, I, I tried two different compression fittings to make this work, and this stupid connection here, I tried single wrap Teflon, twice, twice lap wrapped Teflon, three times wrapped Teflon, nothing. This would not seal. <sighs> so frustrating. Question of the day. All right, guys. So I have this concept that I'm trying to build upon, um, engineering fatherhood. Engineering fatherhood, what does that mean? Well, we're all technically engineering fatherhood. We're taking best practices from other fathers and we're trying to imply it, imply it, apply it to our being fathers and good parents to our sons and daughters. So I need to think of a name. What would be a person who is following along in this path be called? A dad engineer? That seems kind of cheesy. I need something better than that and that's where you guys come in. So post your thoughts down in the comments below. It would help me out and I would really appreciate it. So. With that said, I'll see you tomorrow because I'm figuring this thing out. I'm gonna go shop online, see if I can find something that's in stock. We'll pick it up tomorrow and click, click, and we're done. We're, it's right there, we're, we're, we're bone on bone. I just need something to go in the middle. And I'll see you tomorrow. Six, eight, seven a.m. sharp, my time. Your time varies. I'm in Pacific, so you decide. All right guys, we'll talk to you later, see ya. We've come to the end of the video, and this is what we call a trailer. It's where I ask you if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see my day-to-day -day vlogs, hit subscribe. And if you want, I've got a whole playlist with over 700 videos just talking about stuff that you just watched. So if you enjoy all of that, go check that out too. I really appreciate you coming. Comment below. I engage with everybody. And thanks a lot.